What's up, people? Today I'm in the great state of Delaware. I am out in the middle of the countryside heading to pick up our next modification for the Trackhawk. Uh, it's a custom fiber hood that we've been talking about adding for about two years now. The opportunity presented itself that I just couldn't pass up. So I am literally driving through the backwoods of Delaware uh, to pick it up. I mean, it's very, very rural out here. Very rural. How rural? That rural. Uh, I just saw a guy walking with a shotgun and an orange jacket off to my left. So, as long as I don't see uh, John Voigt and Burt Reynolds hightailing it back the other way, I think I'm good to go. I'm going to be here in about two miles. Pick up this hood, get out, we'll show you what we got, and we'll talk about it. Now, here we go. We lost the light a little bit because uh, we were BSing a little bit, but here it is. Here's the hood that we're adding. And we're going to put sits perfect in the back here. I was a little worried that we wouldn't have enough room, but there's plenty of room, so if the question ever arises, will a WK2 hood fit in the back? Well, there you go. Answered that. Thanks to some people online that helped us out. Oh, and it's starting to get dark, but all right, we got to get on our way back to Philly. It's going to take us an hour and a half. We're out. What's up, guys? Sorry we lost the light. I was there BSing way too long, talking about cars, guns, law enforcement. We had a great time just BSing, and I lost track of how late it was. It's like uh, 6 o'clock right now. I'm not going to get home until after 7. It's, a, it's an hour and a half drive from here. Um, a little longer than I thought it was, but I'm right around the corner from HHP. And coincidentally, the gentleman that sold me the hood, his brother works at HHP. Longbeard. God, are you kidding me? Small world. So that is super cool. Yes, the hood does indeed fit in the back. I had some questions earlier today uh, that I posted up on our um, our Trackhawk Facebook group, Team Trackhawk. And um, thanks to everybody's speedy response. I really wasn't sure. I couldn't remember. And then... It kicked when I was driving down here that somebody that bought my OEM SRT hood from my other Jeep picked it up in a WK2 and it fit. And I just forgot about it. It fits perfectly, actually. It's no big deal. Um, so it's carbon fiber. It's got a Hellcat style scoop, three vents on either side. My original plan, it doesn't have um, the windshield washer nozzles, but that's not a big deal. The quality is excellent. I don't know what I'm going to do now. My original plan coming down here was to get the hood, drop it off at PL Auto Body on Monday, our buddy Mars and uh, Carl, uh, who were friends with Custom Coatings, and have them paint match it. That's what I'm leaning towards. Now, some of you are going to say, no, no, keep the carbon fiber. Mm. I don't know. What I may do is have our buddy Joe at Custom Coatings mount it for me, and drive around with it for a little while and if I don't like the carbon fiber look then have it paint matched uh, either way there's a couple of things that I need to do with the hood um, but number one is mull it over a little bit more about whether or not I want to paint it and match the car I know people are like it's like a you know blasphemy in the carbon fiber community everyone's like no it looks so beautiful the carbon fiber you're gonna ruin it um, it's light as balls. I can't believe how light this hood is. Again, without, you can't compare it to anything else in the industry. I've had a Serona design hood, Serona Designs, and it was garbage. It, it cost me, I think I, I talked about this before, it cost me $2,000 over what I paid to get the hood to have that thing um, work. Because the first time we painted it, damn thing wasn't finished curing it even though they told me it was and you saw the lines and it needed more filler we had to block and sand it all the way down the mesh that they included with it was complete garbage we had to go out and find on ebay some honeycomb heavy duty mesh that looked just like the vents cut it use some liquid plastic to make it match it was such a pain in the ass i will never use that company ever again the customer service sucks the quality of their product sucks never using them again um, but I don't know anything about the customer service with this particular company. What I do know, and I can tell you 
hands down is the quality of their products are the best in the business period period um, as far as uh, custom hoods go for the WK2 and other models they may make um, which I don't know about but hands down so now I need to ask myself what do I want to do do I want to paint it or do I want to try it out and I know you guys and girls are going to comment below and tell me leave the carbon fiber alone hmm. maybe I'll leave the carbon fiber alone and I'll wrap the car again I don't know I don't know we just got done pulling it off so let me hear your opinions down below I always like to hear some input down in the comment section uh, and we'll see we'll take some pictures tomorrow out in the sunlight if it's sunny out since it doesn't look like it may be and we'll just see what we're gonna do okay that's it all I got today do me a favor before you go hit the like button hit the little bell notification click subscribe last but not least you guys and girls all be safe that's all I got I'm out